Vaccines, 5G technology and swarming drones are among Australian technologies to face greater national security scrutiny. Let's go live to Trudy McIntosh in Canberra. Trudy, good morning. What's behind the new plan? Well, Pete, it's designed to safeguard against countries like China gaining a dominance in these emerging technologies. Not that you're going to hear those words out of the Prime Minister's mouth mm. today explicitly when he makes this address to the Sydney Dialogue. Instead, today, the Prime Minister will be talking about this critical technologies blueprint. A $100 million investment will be made to try and get Australia to be a leader in the Indo-Pacific when it comes to quantum technologies. He'll be outlining these nine priority areas that the government has now targeted. I'll run you through what they are. It includes critical minerals, advanced communications, including 5 and 6G, artificial intelligence and cyber, genomics and genetic engineering. Given the focus during the pandemic, how critical vaccination has been, that will also be a part of this list, along with antibiotics and antivirals, low emissions alternative fuels as well, quantum tech and autonomous vehicles, drones and swarming robotics. This critical list of uh, technologies could in fact be used when it comes to uh, cracking down on the sort of collaboration that can be done with Australian universities and countries like China to ensure that this remains in Australia's national interest. There will also be a focus from Scott Morrison today, though, on the little-known publicised aspects of this AUKUS partnership with the UK and US. It's not just about nuclear submarines. There's also no, a big focus right. on tech collaboration as well, Peter. Yeah, we weapons too. Uh, meanwhile, Trudy Labor mm. is promising billions to expand NBN access if they are elected. Yeah, they're going to um, cancel this plan to privatise the NBN, Pete, instead injecting $2.4 billion into expanding the fibre rollout within the NBN, so an additional 1.5 million homes and businesses will be able to get access to fibre by 2025, but this is going to have a particular focus on regional areas. The opposition has been incredibly critical of how the coalition has handled the NBN, in particular the decision to use copper instead of fibre. It's not actually going to be a hit to the budget bottom line, though, because the NBN is a government enterprise, it means it's considered to be an off-budget commitment. But that's increasingly a tactic being used by the opposition. It brings a total now of $47 billion of off-budget commitments before we even get into an election campaign, Pete, by Interesting. Up. Yeah, OK. Trudy McIntosh, yeah. thank you.